before 11 o'clock, Robin, you're sitting next to a handsome guy. I know, I know. He's a handsome guy. He can handle himself, you know. Yes, he yes, can. He protect can. anybody. He's hot, ladies. He's a hot guy. Yes, and I'm, and, you know, I'm a straight guy. So <laughs> for me to be able to say that. Uh, Tony Leone is in the studio. There's an event happening, and uh, we're having fun with Tony because he's a professional athlete and a fighter, a boxer specifically, correct? That's what we say? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, or uh, prize mix- fighter. I do kickboxing, mixed martial arts. Oh, you arts, do? Boxing. You do it all? Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. You, my, I wouldn't have any teeth left, right? If I got into you, something with you? Uh, you probably would. You got a little wisdom on me, so I'm sure you could. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the wisdom to stay away. <laughs> the same wisdom I used around uh, snakes and... and, 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 and <laughs> wild boars. Uh, yeah, and, and wild boars, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Tony, nice to meet you. Tony Leone. Um, there is an event, and I know you told us off the air, but I didn't write it down. It's, it's a, a fundraiser called... The Valentine's Day Massacre, prevent, <laughs> uh, presented by Lank King Promotions. And Lank King is the grandson of... Don King. So, th- I mean, not to drop names, but that's kind of cool that we have somebody in town that with those kind of connections. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I think he's going to bring good things to Ocala into this area, and he's going to uh, promote a really good fight. we got Danny Santiago as the main event. Um, he's a hometown boy from Ocala. Uh, the Bronx Bomber. Uh, I think he's going to put on a good show. I'm fighting on the card also. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm so excited. Danny Santiago is the Bronx Bomber or he's no? He's the Bronx Bomber, yes, sir. Okay, so he's from the Bronx. Uh, born, but raised here in Ocala. Okay, all right, all right. Um, so how does let's, let's do the when, where, and, and all that. Uh, so when when is this and where is this? Uh, it's February thirteenth at the uh, Southeastern Livestock Pavilion. The event's gonna start at seven thirty p.m. Seven thirty. Okay. Seven thirty. Okay. So we're gonna have a co-main event, a main event, and then set, uh, five undercard bouts. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. So February thirteenth at the Southeast Livestock Pavilion at seven thirty. Um, how much do you get it? How much do you tickets? Uh, tickets start for fifteen dollars. They go all the way up to a hundred. Um, VIP is hundred dollars. Ringside, you get four free uh, cocktails with that. Okay. Nice. Okay. And and who's the fundraiser for? I don't. I'm not quite not sure. Not, not sure. quite sure how they're doing that and whatnot. I just know that they contact me about the fight. I'm a self promoter. Come here, promote the event. Okay. I promote the fight for myself. Okay. Are were, were you a fighter in school? How did you become a fighter? I've always kind of been that way, just kind of a little bit tussles here and there. Um, I started wrestling in high school, led me into mixed martial arts, got right. me into that. Right. And then um, I just I dove in and did it from there a little bit after high school. Started training, started fighting in 2010, mostly did MMA here in Ocala uh-huh. when they used to do the shows. Um, moved over to kickboxing, did a little bit of boxing, and I, I just enjoy it. And, and how do you protect yourself from somebody else who's kickbox? Or, or how do you protect yourself, period? I'm uh, highly trained. You know, I, I okay. practice every day. You know, I, d- uh, I know uh, techniques in Muay Thai and boxing, jiu-jitsu. I train real hard, and I, and I know what I'm doing out there. Have you ever broken up a fight on the street? Like you, you saw somebody manhandling his wife or something, and you knocked them in the head? Uh, I try to. St- I, I would interfere. <laughs> I try to stay away from situations like that because you know that's the quickest way to get in trouble. You know what I mean? Oh, I know. But so, you know, sometimes you have no story. choice, right? Where did you grow yeah. up? You grew up uh, I grew up in uh, Denellen. Went to Denellen High School. Grew okay. up right in uh, Denellen, Citrus County area. Okay. Okay. You know? Ocala. You know, I've been all over this little area. You don't have that Denellen accent. You got. I don't know where you sound like you're from. But. I hear that all the time. I wonder why. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I hear it all the time. You know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a server at, a, at, at restaurants, and uh, I get people coming in. Oh, where are you from? New York, Philly, right here in Denver. Isn't Florida. that something? You do sound like you're from the Northeast somewhere. I'm telling you, people tell me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is more of a uh, mental challenge too when you fight and it's, it's not just physical oh 100 percent. i'd say it's uh 75 or 80 percent mental you got some of the best athletes in the world out there that uh can, can train hard and fight hard but on fight night they got there and lay an egg you know you got oh. some other guys who maybe not be the best athletes but have got a good mental game and go out there and show all right so th- this is a fundraiser and, and you don't know who it's a fundraiser for, yeah. but is this the same thing that the vets are doing, or is that a separate fight? I believe it's going to be a separate fight. That's two separate yeah, things. Yeah. Okay, okay. I haven't heard about the vets fight yet. Okay, well, because uh, Tom, uh, Anthony James, who uh, does a show here on Wednesdays, who sat in with us during the Christmas parade, he was also a boxer, and he's boxing okay. in the thing with the veterans. So I thought, mm-hmm. since you guys seem to be in the same circle, well, uh, you always think everybody's connected. It's, it is a small community, uh, the, the fight community. Uh, uh-huh. Um, I may know Anthony James, but I can't think of him off the top of my head. He's the uh, manager of the Homewood Suites. 
Okay. Okay. Do, do you know who he is now by saying that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, okay. 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 Now, when now when you're you're fighting, do you know who your opponent is in advance, or will you find out that night? You can do that. Me personally, I I fight a lot. I fight a bunch of different things. It really doesn't. I, I personally don't like to worry about who I'm fighting. I just want to go out there and do my job. Uh, if I found out the night of the fight, it wouldn't bother me. But usually you find out a couple weeks before me get contracts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So so f boxing is, is showbiz in a way. I mean, yeah. it's, it's showbiz with very risky results. I mean, you could be hurt for real. But using Muhammad Ali as, as an example, I mean, he knew how to take the showbiz part of it and make it show busy. But he also seemed to be, at least from us as onlookers, saying things to the press and in the media that not only got us excited but seemed to be ticking off his future opponent on on purpose right am yes. i right about that yes definitely uh so do you talk trash i mean is that is that is that a, is that a it, technique it, it is a lot of people's mind games you have a, a top fighter out there in mixed martial arts conor mcgregor he's one of the best in the uh, business at uh, mind games at uh, mental warfare me i've never had to really get into that so far yet I will I'm not afraid to I just haven't had an issue like have that. you had somebody using it on you uh, are, not really are you no. in the ring and they say come on you old labrapus or something oh man it wouldn't be good it wouldn't be good for you, you know? labrapus whatever I, that would mean I, I enjoy stuff like some that some people call know? me a blabberpuss. I'm you know? the guy that gets hit and goes oh that's all you got you know yeah. oh, oh well that would work I'm telling you that you would know? work you make it seem like it's nothing I enjoy it you know it doesn't bother me is it this fight Sanctioned? Yes, yes. It's uh, sanctioned by the Florida State uh, Boxing Commission. Mm -hmm. And then what happens then? Do you get points and then you do other it's fights around the country? Or how does that work? It's not so much done like your that. Teeth, your teeth are so nice. Huh? I know. I don't get, I you say, don't, you I don't get hit, huh? I get hit, but I do good absorbing the, the hits, maybe deflecting them and, really? and dodging really? them a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. I keep this pretty face uh, well. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but uh, as your question was, um, is it sanctioned? Yes, it's sanctioned. There's going to be judges there commissioned by the uh, state. And pretty much from this show, you know, if I win, you know, I might get a call from another promotion or uh, or another event and, mm -hmm. um, and uh, fight from there. You know, each fight, you know, you hopefully – do good, put on a show like you said. It's it's not just sport; it's uh, entertainment. Can you explain something to me that I've never understood about boxing? I never understood what a technical knockout was. How do you technically knock somebody out? Uh, that'd be mostly, I'd say, when the uh, ref steps in. You're putting a beating on the guy, and the ref step, steps in to stop the fight. The ref thinks he had enough, or you don't uh, really knock him out cleanly. You know, it's kind of a knockdown. He can't get up from the count. Uh, uh, more along the line of that. A wow. uh, clean knockout. You, you hit him, you knock him out cold. He, he's laying on the mat, missed the eight count. That'd be a, a full knockout. Oh, you know? my goodness. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever been knocked out? Uh, no, sir. I've never been knocked down. <laughs> Training, nothing. 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 Well, too good. Stay that way. I try. But you've knocked other people out? Yes. I've had uh, several knockouts in kickboxing, a couple in MMA. And they what? They're just laying there like dead? Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> they're not. <laughs> <See>? Really? <laughs> Sometimes they're not out for long sometimes they get right up you know it How could co be a flash knockout or it could be a really hard knockout and a very concussive blow you know are you mm -hmm. very uh what, what uh, precise or do you have precision kicking in other words could you kick me in my ear and and, and miss my nose or something how or? tall are you six six i got uh very tight hips i might be able to kick your liver I can kick your liver. Oh, oh, oh. Like hitting your, hitting don't your six, kick my liver. Here, I don't think I'll, I'll reach it. Okay, I got buddies okay. who can, but me, I'm not the flexible one. <laughs> <laughs> but the liver might be worse. Exactly. <laughs> oh no. Do you have a, a a a special type of fight you like to do? Do you do you like martial arts better than just boxing, or do you like to combine them? How does that work? You know, I, I've real. I started out mixed martial arts. I really I really love that. I really enjoy that. Um, my, my training right now isn't suited for it, you know, so I really don't want to do myself a disservice and, and um, go out and, and have a bad performance. When I get my training more situated around mixed martial arts, get get a, uh, get a, a little bit um, more well-rounded training environment, we do that. I really enjoy the kickboxing. That's something I just started recently. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really fun, you know. It's, it's of course you got uh, big muscles in your legs. Yeah, you, you, your legs, are, your legs and back are the strongest parts of your body, you know. Yeah. But in the kickboxing, you got elbows, knees, punches, kicks, oh. clinching. Oh, really? You get it all. It's a very uh, forced um, action. Boxing, I've only done that a couple times. I enjoy it. You know, I feel like I'm best with my hands. So I think it's a uh, something I'm going to be at an advantage at. You know, in my kickboxing fights, I really do well with my hands. Anybody else in your family ever do this? 
Your father or anyone? No, my uh, my dad was a little bit of a scrapper. My mom too. I heard back in the day, but uh, <laughs> nice. my, my brother was a wrestler in high school with me. He's the one that actually got me into wrestling, and um, from then on out, you know, he joined the Navy. I ended up doing this, and uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you in, you graduated from Dedellin High School? Yes, sir, Dedellin High School, class of two thousand nine. It's the same school I graduated from. Oh, well, by congratulations! The way. <laughs> nice to meet another alumni. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so tell me, all right, so you are fighting, and uh, okay, let, let's take a break first, and we'll come back. So uh, this is February 13th, day before Valentine's Day, and that's why it's called the Valentine's Day Massacre. You said there was more to the name than that, or you, we don't? Yeah, Valentine's Day Massacre in Ocala. That's all they're calling it. In Ocala, okay. And uh, Lank King is the promoter? Lank King's the promoter. The promoter, okay, and he's the grandson of Don King. And Danny Santiago, he's one of the featured fighters? He's that, the main event, yes, sir. He's the main event, okay. And we don't know who he's fighting? I don't know his opponent yet, sir. The Bronx Bomber. Could it be you? Oh, uh, no, nah, he's a few weight classes above me. It's a few weight classes, okay. <laughs> you want to see that? Come watch a spar someday at the gym. <laughs> oh, that'd be Tickets fun. are $15 up to $100. We'll have all of that explained. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call because we won't necessarily know what you want us to ask. Uh, 622 is the 622 is the number. We'll be right back with our guest, Tony Leone, professional athlete, fighter, mixed Mixed martial, mixed martial arts, mixed martial arts fighter. Prize Boxer. fighter. Yeah. Prize we'll, we'll, fighter. I we'll love We'll be that. right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. After some morning cloudiness, it'll turn out mostly sunny and noticeably cooler today than recent days with highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Mainly clear and colder tonight with lows ranging from the mid-30s and a few inland spots to the mid-40s on the coast. On Tuesday, some clouds to start, then some sun, breezy and cool with highs in the low to mid-60s. Wednesday, mostly sunny, high 60 to 64. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. What makes male shopaholics harder to spot is how they view shopping in general. Because where women tend to treat shopping as a chance to be social, guys often view shopping as a competition. The fastest way to lose weight is to avoid all meat and dairy products. Whether your partner shaved a few points off his golf score or she got a promotion at work, the way you react is even more important than how you react during a crisis. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. All right, uh, 11 minutes now before 11 o'clock in the studio. Tony Leone is in the studio. Uh, he's a professional athlete, a fighter, a good-looking young guy, and uh, he can knock my teeth out and my liver. <laughs> 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 and the Valentine's Day Massacre is a fundraising fight happening on February 13th at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion at 7.30. Tickets run from $15 to $100. The $100 people, the VIPs, get special... Four free drinks. F- how many, four? Four, yes, sir. 
Um, so what do you what do you do to stay in shape? I mean, besides fighting, do you I, eat right and all that? My diet is my biggest thing. I eat very good. I, I clean my diet up. Eat a lot of grilled chicken, grilled uh, grilled fish, um, a lot of green veggies, and a lot of colorful veggies. It's really too much. I'm ready to eat a burger and steak as soon as the fight's over. <laughs> oh really? Uh, oh and my do gosh. You? Uh, usually not. You know, you, you yeah. think about it, and then after the fight, you're like, oh, I just want to get up. Nice salad with fish because right, you're right. used to that stuff. You are, know, you, your body. are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? I'm engaged. I have a beautiful fiance. Oh, nice. We're uh, uh, almost a four years. July, July, July will be four years. And uh, we got a little baby girl. Oh, you do? Oh, yes, well, good for you. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. And we also have a son. Uh, it's my fiance's nephew. We've had him since he was seven weeks old, and uh, we've raised him oh. ever since. Is that right? Well, yeah, good for uh, you. He's a little over two now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, you really are a, a great role model for the students. Do you go and do any speaking engagements or do any kind of uh, encouraging things for the students to stay on the right path? I haven't had the opportunity yet. I have been approached a couple times by some friends who uh, work with juveniles and whatnot. They've, we've never mm -hmm. like linked up and got this, the situation uh, set up, but I, I'd love to do stuff like that, you know. I uh, had a little bit of a, a rough patch uh, growing up, like a lot of young young adults have, mm -hmm. and I've uh, developed past that and uh, become a pretty successful and a good role model, I think, and I think I can help a lot of people out. Has part of that been martial arts? And the reason I'm asking this, we always hear that martial arts is more than just fighting. It's about self-discipline. 100%. Which is always a good influence on anybody. 100%. Once I started training, um, it helped me prioritize my life and cut the cancers out of my life, 100%. You know, you cut can't the cut what? The, the cancers. cancers. The cancers, yes. okay. Wonderful. You can't go out and um, party, get in trouble, and uh, act a fool, uh, and then go to train the next day, especially with a good coach around. You know, at that time, when I was acting like that, you know, I'd come in, black eye from a fight the night before or something like that. My coach would be like, what are you doing? Oh, you know, I, I just, it was accidental. It was blah, blah. My coach looked at me and said, I'm not an idiot. Don't try to bull crap me. Good for him. Yeah. You know, he's mm -hmm. like, if you're going to act like that, you can get on out. You know, I'm teaching you how to how to be a professional athlete and you're going around running running the streets. He goes, you can get on out of here. You know, I don't want nothing to do that. Do with that. So, uh, you know that? I enjoyed what I did. Well, good for him. Wow. Yeah. He's a fantastic man. Stefan Butenbeck. Uh, and you will mm -hmm. take that on in the rest of your life. That'll be something you pass on to everybody you know. Yeah, 100%. Just, I, I feel bad for the, the guy who dates your daughter, though. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't <laughs> so know. What, do I. That's what, 15 so years I. from now, maybe? Yeah. Or 25? Uh, 25. 30. 30 25. <laughs> if, he, if he knows it's good for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, the um, kids who aren't in trouble, too, they, they still need good role models in their life to stay the way they are in their career goals. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, like I said, I haven't necessarily been presented with the opportunity yet, but I would love to. You know, I, I love working with kids. When I, my first job was at the Boys and Girls Club mm -hmm. in Den Ellen, I worked there for a summer. I really enjoyed that working with the kids. I um, have a bunch of nieces, and nephews, and cousins, and, and I'm a very kid friendly person. I, I, I just enjoy. Well, you I, or uh, Robin keeps saying that you're a good role model, and that's yeah. awesome. Thank so you. the guy, let's see, Danny Santiago. He's got a cool name, but yep. then he uses a nickname, Bronx Bomber. Yeah. You got a cool name too, Tony Leone. That's a cool name. Yeah. I Do you have a nickname also? I've messed around with a few, but I, I really don't have none that's stuck, you know. You don't give yourself nicknames. People Other give people them to do you, it for you, yeah. And uh if it doesn't stick, it doesn't stick. You know, Tony Leone, you can't get rid of that. It's almost like Rocky Balboa. That's right. So, that's right. It's better than Rocky Pablo. Yeah, hey, I like that. You're real. <laughs> I'm real, yeah. Uh, although although Stallone did work out for that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Have you ever met him? Have you ever met any Have you ever met any famous boxers at all? No. No, I, I don't think uh, well Danny Santiago, yeah. Yeah. Danny, I've met yeah. him and Danny's uh as good as they come. Is is what I'd like to say there. He he's fantastic. But beyond that, I don't think I've ever met uh Anybody famous. So the only way you win in a boxing ring is by knocking the person out or technically knocking the person out. Or you go the uh, duration of the fight, which uh, depends on how far along you've got in your career. You have three, uh, three four, five, six, 12, minute, uh, 12 rounds of okay. three minutes. And you get points? You get points. Each round is scored with 10. Uh, the, the winner of the round gets 10 points. The loser gets nine or less. Uh, it's the traditional boxing system, 10-point uh, must system. So each round is scored like a new fight. You know, round one... You score, let's say I win round one, I get a 10-9. He wins round two, he gets 10-9. Now it's a draw going to the third. Whoever wins that round wins the fight. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. My daughter-in-law is a boxer. Okay. And, and she's petite and sweet, and you and I watch videos of her training. I don't know where she trains, but no, uh, somewhere here in Ocala, mm-hmm. and she looks like she could knock my teeth out too. I'm telling you, just some some of these girls pop a punch. <laughs> 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 um, how, how do you stay so positive and upbeat? Because sometimes there are you know, not so nice things that happen in a person's life. How do you have that, you know, a positiveness where you always bounce back and stay on the right track? Uh, at a young age, I realized to not um, stress about things I can't control, you know, and that's what I do, you know. If I can't control something, there's no worry for me. There's no, why would I stress about it? Why would I let it bother me in my day-to-day life, you know? I just go through and handle things I can't control. And uh, if I can't, if something goes wrong there, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to fix it. If not, you know, I'm just going to go on the next day. You know, I have been through a lot in my life. And uh, that's why I think it's the best to keep a positive uh, head on your shoulders. Good for you. Your parents, your, your wife or fiance, fiance your yeah. children should all be proud of you. I mean, you're, you're outstanding. Do you, uh, stupid question, I guess, but you're in Danone. Do you like fishing? Not really, huh? I Not that I don't like it. I just I don't got much patience. You know, if I'm not catching fish right away, I'm over here like, uh, let's go catch some turtles or something. Let's, <laughs> let's do something. I, I, don't, I got a short attention span. Do you have a punching bag at home? I do. Uh, and is there, okay, there are two types, right? That big, long. F- yep, that's type. called a, a, tie, um, a tie bag. Okay, and do you, do you oh, and do you kick that and, and punch that a lot? Yep, we have one of those at the gym. Uh, I actually just have a regular heavy bag at, at home. It used to hang in my garage, and then uh, this kid by the name of Aiden Cox, he's my nephew, uh-huh. he gave it a hit one day and knocked it off the wall. Oh, my gosh. Proof. I used to beat it all day long. He hit it one time, and it fell off. Was yeah. that just a fluke? It was just No, no, it's his power. He's powerful. He's about six years old. Oh, okay, wow. got it. I got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah, something, uh, maybe the hook stretched a little bit. And uh, good thing I was out there because it maybe could have fell on him, but it was it was a freak yeah, little right, accident. Right, right. Do, you ever, do you ever do these things at carnivals and just, like, Win dolls and stuff like that? For, uh, no, I'm not. I'm a fighter, <laughs> but I'm not the biggest, strongest guy out there. It's not like I'm going to take the hammer and smash and hit the top. No, no, not that one. I'm, uh, there's a punching bag one. Oh, the, yeah. The, the punching bag that wiggles. Yes, that, I know what you're talking about. You know, I do pretty well on those, but I'm never the high score. You know, these guys come in, they're real big guys. They, <laughs> they It's smack. like a drum. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the speed bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I do okay with that. I don't know how they do that. My, that looks unbelievable. You know, the guys on TV do a little bit better than I do. Oh, I, really? I got a little bit of a rhythm with the speed bag. Boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. But um, I got to work on my, my speed bag skills. <laughs> when uh, you uh, advance from fight to fight, then you will be fighting not just in this area, but all over the country then. Yeah, I've uh, fought all over Florida so far in my amateur career. Uh, I just started my pro- professional career about two years ago. Um had an injury, so I took a year off, and then I uh-huh. had another fight uh, in October, my second professional fight. Uh, but beyond that, you know, I go where they want me to go, you know. If I get a good opportunity somewhere out of state, I'll go. But, I mean, it's not that – I'd rather stay in state, a little bit local. don't got to pay so much if mm-hmm. I could f- find something in state, you know, mm-hmm. become a – a floor favorite, you know? That'd be oh, cool. Oh, wonderful. I all like down that. Down boy, I like that. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> all right, I want to make sure the listeners know how to get tickets and all that. So I'm looking up uh, how to, well, maybe you can just tell me. Oh, here, I'm on the Lank King. Oh, Anthony James is, is promoting it. So maybe he is part of the same thing. Okay. Lank King promotions. Yeah. Um, get tickets. You can get them at uh, Central Florida Boxing, the gym, right. or you can get them from me personally. I have uh, tickets um, for sale. They're the same price as, as the gym, you know? Um, I'm, like I said, I work at Gators Dockside. You can get them from me anytime there. Mm-hmm. Or you can uh, give me a call on my cell phone or give me a text message. Are you on this poster? There's a picture. He, uh, Anthony posted a, a poster of Danny, Danny Santiago and Demarcus Corley. Yep. I'm the, in that picture. I am the funny-looking guy on the... On the right uh, side? On the right side. Three da- pasty-looking white guy on Three there? down from the top? Yeah, you are kind yeah, of pasty-looking. Pasty. Yeah. You look really pasty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there you are. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Well, good for you. <laughs> wow, that's a nice poster. So, I mean, so maybe, Happy New Year's, everybody. Thank, uh, thank you, what? Jesus, for the big blessings. I'm looking. I'm reading what Anthony oh, wrote. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, no, that's from Lank. Lank King wrote that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so we can go to Anthony's page or Lank King Promotions on Facebook? You can get the tickets, like I, like I said, from Central Florida Boxing. The gym, if you go there, he has them for sale. Um, I have a couple for sale. Um, give you, a phone number or something. Could you do that? Yeah, I can give you a phone number. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. 352-292-2013. Uh, t- uh, uh-huh. 
Okay, okay excellent. That's the phone number for to get them locally here in Ocala. Okay, excellent. Okay. We'll we'll make sure we continue to talk about that. And get back to us so we know who this is uh, benefiting, okay? Tony Leone, what an honor. Uh, as I said, all of your family uh, must be very proud. I'm sure they are. You're, you're more than a great fighter. You're just a great guy. We'll take a break. Mm-hmm. Be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Rock music megastar David Bowie is dying of cancer two days after his 69th birthday. He only released an album last Friday with one song called Lazarus opening with the line Look up here, I'm in heaven. Bowie's longtime producer, American Tony Visconti, calling the record Bowie's parting gift to the world. Fox Radio Simon Owen in London. An appeals court has delayed the Baltimore trial of police van driver Caesar Goodson, charged in the death of Freddie Gray. Jury selection was due to start today. Last week, a judge ruled that Officer William Porter, whose manslaughter trial ended in a hung jury, must testify against Goodson. With no winner in Saturday's Powerball 